Today we're going to be demonstrating the use of the cell view disposable semen counting chambers. These are used to get an estimation of your concentration in millions per milliliters. This will not give you percentages on motility or progressive motility, but it will give you a fairly accurate count of your concentration either via raw or extended samples. So first we'll open up the package and take a look at the instructions. These are rather brief and simple. There's a couple steps that we'll go over just to ensure that you see the proper use of it so you get the best results. So as indicated here, we're gonna want approximately only four microliters of specimen. Now using more potentially may result in it being greater than one cell thick. And you're going to be wanting to use sperm that is non-motile. So there are ways of basically killing off the motility of the sperm sample, but we don't want to do it to the entire sample as that will, well, cause uh, the pregnancy to be missed. So what we're going to do here is actually transfer some of the sample into a different tube. We're going to temperature shock that tube with the sample in it basically um, either killing off or harming the semen enough to where they're not moving so that we can get a good concentration count. Again, you do not want to do this to your full sample, just a small enough sample so we can get a concentration count. Um, and that's going to be most accurate when the sperms are not moving, but staying in one place. So we can use a disposable or mechanical transfer pipette. We're just going to take off well, enough to work with. Transfer it into that other tube. Place the full sample back in the fridge or in its container for insemination. And now we can kill off the sperm and get an accurate count without worrying about the rest of the sample. So we're going to run this under cold water and then set it next to ice for about five or 10 minutes. That should immobilize the sperm cells enough to keep them from moving. And we'll be right back after that. Okay, so we're back. We managed to kill off the semen in the sample to get an accurate concentration count. Again, we can't look at motility necessarily in, per in a percentage format with this test. It's just for concentration. So as indicated in the instructions, we'll first We'll mix it by gentle inversion or by brief vortexing and set our mechanical pipette to four microliters. A little bit plus or minus will be okay, but let's keep it as close to four as possible. We'll insert into the tube and place barely off center to the left of the slide. Okay, so now the next step here is we're going to want to put the glass slide over the top and slide it out. So make sure the cell view name is facing up and you may be able to see with your naked eye. The slide itself is microscopically gridded. That's going to enable us to do the count. Next, we're going to put the slide on the microscope and center it on test section A of the slide. So we'll have to move it around here until we find it. And then of course, always start off with the lowest magnification on your microscope that will enable you to catch when you're in focus quicker. Uh, please view our other training videos on use of the microscope. So with the course knob, seeing we have nothing on screen, they're not in focus. We're just gonna zoom in until we have them here. In sight, looks like we're getting close. Now use the fine knob. All right, so as you should be able to see on screen here, these are the sperm cells. We'll now need to just navigate horizontally or left to right back and forth to where they are within the microscopic grid. 
That's going to be pretty apparent to find. Again, it's going to be easiest if we start out at lower magnification. So I have my 10x turned on. That is the lowest one on this device. So now as indicated in the instructions here, we're going to count all the sperms observed regardless if they're moving or not uh, within 10 of those small boxes. So let's first go ahead and do that. We have with the 10x here, we're showing 10, another five partial on top. Let me move around just to show you what we're seeing here. And this count is fairly low because we have semen that's already extended. Just the brightness a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna count all the ones we can see within the grids. So starting from right to left, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now, if we want to get the best average, we can move the microscope over to a different section, and this will help us make sure that we've mix the sample well. Be careful to not count debris as semen. Be looking for the long tails, the flagella. So here we have good ones in view. We're gonna count this up again and average the two counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, possibly 16 here. So we're gonna average it out to be 15. Then we divide that number by two. So it's gonna be 7.5. And that result is our concentration, as simple as that. So we have a final concentration then of 7.5 million per milliliter. Again, that is very, very low. This is a highly diluted sample that we're using here for research right now.